Hello everybody and welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and I hope you're enjoying your model railways and you're following this series you must be enjoying the build of Jarra Road Station right so as you know it's we're straight into the action and um, I did have a look around um, Ikea and MFI to see if they were selling any furniture for 1.76 scale and of course I drew a blank there so I'm making it myself so what you've caught me building at the moment is a desk for the ticket office uh, it's made out of card so that's the, the counter we've got a little shelf there and I'm just about to slide in the set of drawers so once that's glued in and painted up it will look something like that and that is going to go underneath these windows here so that's going to be glued in there like that So that's one piece of the furniture done. So I shall finish off this just by gluing them drawers into place and then I'll drum up a list of furniture that I'm going to need for the four rooms and we'll make the whole lot in one hit. Uh, I think it'd be quicker that way rather than to do one room at a time because some of the furniture will be just follow-ons like desks. I'm going to need desks for the station master's office and the ticket office so I can do all the furniture in one hit. But for little things like this, this little speciality, we can get this underway now. So I've glued the drawers in place and uh, once that's painted up and then stuck onto the wall that will look the biz, I hope. <laughs> right, so that's the first piece of furniture. I have now compiled a list for the four rooms. Freshman's room, station master's office, ticket office and the waiting room. And the various um, furniture that we need for the rooms. A refreshment room, counter, tables and booths. Station master's office will have a large desk, uh, a bookshelf cabinet, chairs, and a telephone. Um, ticket office will have a desk, chairs, telephone, and for the waiting room, we'll just have benches, tables, and maybe a small cabinet. Right, so now we've got a list. All we need now is our drawings. Oh, look. And here we have a bunch of drawings. Um, I'm going to use this as a Bible from now on um, because I keep making drawings and then losing them again. Um, so this is my standard chair, uh, a table, a single desk with the drawers, a double desk with drawers, um, a booth bench, a normal bench, a bureau, and the cabinet I'm going to make for the station master's office. That's quite a big cabinet, that, and uh, obviously the counter for the refreshments room. So, we have our drawings. Now it's time to start making this furniture. Remember a few weeks ago when we started cutting out the windows well I kept all the little bits of card and um, the first thing I'm going to do is make the brew roll so I'm sticking four pieces of these window cut cutouts um, together to make the depth of the brew roll and then um, cut them to size and then put the chamfer on uh, and then we're ready to put a piece of paper round this to form the shape obviously I've got to put a chamfer across there to make the shape so that's 
almost one piece of furniture done already. Um, with the other pieces, I can do the same for the, the, the cupboard there. Uh, I'll cut, uh, I should glue four pieces together and then cut it down to the height of. Um, well, I might just leave it at that height, whatever that height is. 13 mil probably, and that gives you 12 mil for the top half. So, yeah, all those weeks ago when we were cutting out for the windows, I kept all the bits of card. And now, I'm reusing them. Right, so now we have our two uh, little cardboard blocks. Uh, the, the brewer, beautiful. The brewer, beautiful. Bureau, bureau. Now that the blocks have gone off a little bit, we can start working with them. Um, I've cut this one down to 10 mil because I think the splitting this would look look a bit odd. So I'd rather have a tall top half and a shallow bottom half, so it make it uh, look more in keeping with a piece of furniture, I think, rather than splitting the difference. Um, with the bureau, um, I'm going to have to cut this down. Um, not by much, by about 4mm, then I've got to chamfer that across. Uh, this one I will cover in paper, this one I will cover in card. So I've already cut the bureau down to 16mm, so what we're just going to do now is I'll go back to the drawing. We want 6mm uh, to come down from the top, and then we'll just chamfer it off at that. So half of the cabinet across 16 millimeters. I'm going to score a little line along there, and then come back up again so it's half. So I'll just cut that through there. So what I'll do now is I will treat that with a little bit of super glue and then I get a little bit of sandpaper by then sand that down. So here is the piece of card I'm going to wrap around this cardboard block to create the cabinet. It's a little bit different from what I've done on the drawing. So I'm just going to glue that around there. Leave that to dry. The card that I'm using is just uh, bits of scrap left over from previous builds, and um, it just comes in handy because it's about half a mil thick, so it's it's well worth using for little jobs like this. So, as you can see, I've cut out for the sh the, the chamfer of the bureau, and that's just going to go on there like that. Um, once I've drawn the drawers on like I've done with the cabinet. So we shall do that, glue that on, then we can sand it off, put a base on, put a top on, put uh, a, a little shelf in there which would fold up normally and then that's the bureau done. I have put the bases on both pieces of furniture. Now it's time to add the open shelf as it were for, to the bureau. Uh, all I've done there one mil card and two tiny 1.5 mil by four mil strips and that will just be glued onto there then it'll look like the bureau lid is open. Um, I made a bureau before but I don't think I did this I think I left it closed uh, the one that's in South Shield Station, I think I left that close. And I think that one is in the Station Master's office. So I'll 
just leave that to dry on there like that. Just make out the drawers underneath, so that's where it would sit, just like that. I have now placed tops on top of the bureau and on top of this uh, lower half of this uh, this cupboard. So that finishes those off. So what I'm doing now, I'm just placing some shelving in the top section of the cupboard. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a little bit fiddly, but uh, interesting as I slide these tiny little shelves into this build. There you go. It's another one. So that then will sit on top of there when it's done. And this is what it looks like uh, finished. So that just requires a coat of paint and some varnish. And uh, yeah, that'll look good in the station master's office. So we finished our cupboards, now it's time to make the um, counter for the refreshments room. Um, so I've got my one mil card um, already pre-cut, so that's going to form the base. So what I'm going to do now is wrap some one mil card around this edge um, to form the, the sides of this counter. So it's quite straightforward, so I'll just line that up with that edge and then roll it round and then cut it to length at this corner here. So that's quite straightforward. Um, it's going to be slightly longer than my original plans um, because of the, the flap which allows the uh, stuff to get behind the counter so I'm just shaping that to make that fit around that corner nice and easy so once I've done that I shall mark that with a pencil and then we can glue this in place just mark that there and then square cut that across I have now glued this card on to form the counter wall and I stuck a little bit on the end because you might be able to see that um, when we look through the window I uh, don't know yet um, I'm not going to put any shelving on the inside but what I will do I'll put a support in there for the counter but bear in mind I've got to leave at least six to seven mil in there so we can place a figure behind the counter. So I'll just glue that piece in place and then we can detail the front of this counter. Just glue that in there. Just use a rule to make sure I've got my seven millimeters. Push the card in enough. Top and bottom. And, uh, that should sit there. Right, so now I'll make up a counter and then we shall put some detail along the front and sides. Now cutting out the counter top um, I've made it slightly different to drawing as always with with me there's always a little change right at the last minute so I'm just cutting this um, bang on the lines now this is a millimeter wider than the counter framework so it just overhangs that a little bit so 
just uh, it should just come right out and that's it. And the flap is going to be at this end of the counter because this end of the counter you, you might see it through the window. I'm just cutting that up from there. And you just shape that round in there. Steady hand is required here. I just take the corner. Now the, th the thing is, you keep asking yourself how much of this will we actually see, but we won't know until we switch the lights on right at the end of the bill. I'm just, just taking that corner off slightly, so that now will glue on top of there. Hopefully it will overhang a little bit. So to finish this counter off now, um, I'm just cutting some 5 by 4 mil square card just to finish it off. So I'm cutting about, um, about a dozen pieces should be enough. And what I'll do is I'll glue these along the front, around the, the sides. And uh, it's a little bit different from what I've done before when I've made counters. Um, just adds that little bit of detail. So I'm just placing one here. And then I'll place one at the other end and then work my way in. Let's see if I can pick one of these little things up. Just drop it in there. And then drop one in there and then just work my way in, equally spacing them. So what I did then, off camera, is I put one in the middle after I put one either end and um, filled in the space to finish off. Just uh, move it around with a Q-tip. Remove any excess glue, and we should end up with something like that. It's a little bit different. Just got to do the sides now. Right, and that's the counter finished. Um, yeah, she doesn't seem all that pressed with her arms folded like that. Anyway, so that's that done. So where do we go next? Um, I think we'll make some tables next. I'm going to move away from what I've got here. I want to try and simplify these tables just a little bit. Um, it's going to be the same width, height, so the overall appearance is going to be the same. It's just that uh, I'm going to make them slightly different. So I'm going to make three of these tables. So we have a top, base and a middle. But I'm also at the same time going to make one coffee table, which will have legs, for the waiting room. Um, so this is quite straightforward here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll glue the middle of the table to the base and that will give it its, its height and then I'll just glue the top on the top. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a change of design, but um, I just want to make it a little bit simpler, 
just for quickness. I'll just place that in the centre of the base. I'm just super gluing these on. For some reason you still get a little bit of time for manoeuvre with the super glue. Not a lot, mate. So that will be the base. And what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of super glue on the top of there. I mean, I could make the legs uh, take a little bit longer. Not only that, um, when we start putting people. Um, in, on the seats next to the tables it just means that I'll have a little bit less of things clashing with legs I don't want to start cutting legs off of the punters so, and that's about the basic shape off the table, just let that grab a hold. So that is the table. So there's plenty of room underneath the table there for legs. Obviously, once it's painted, it'll look well a lot different, more or less similar to what I did for the restaurant, not the restaurant, the refreshments room. Over its so shields, similar sort of design, but I think the tables were oval if I remember rightly. With the coffee table, um, it's slightly lower, uh, it only stands about six mil tall. Um, the top itself is a little bit smaller as well. Um, I'll just take these corners off. Um, yes, what I've doing here I've cut three pieces of two mil card one will just fit in between these four legs like so and then that forms the base for the table um, as you can see all I've done is just cut out uh, a little piece from the from the card to form the legs just trim that up a little bit and then we'll just glue these three pieces together and then glue it onto the top So we'll just glue this onto the top. That's easy as that. Right, so that's all the tables done. Like so. Let's put that on me. Very tiny as you can see. That's the same width as the, the bigger tables, which is slightly lower. But I'll put them in comparison. There. So the next thing I want to tackle is the desks for the offices. Um, station master's office and the little ticket office. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick together these three pieces of card, uh, eight mil wide, which will make the drawers for the desk six mil. Um, something similar to what I've got on the drawer in here to start with, which is this one. So we want uh, a double drawer desk. I want two of those and one of those. So we'll stick these together. Then we'll wrap them up with some paper, like I've got here and um, we'll cut them to the right height that I need and then uh, we'll turn them into desks, these bits of card and paper I don't 
don't know what's going on there with that counter. Sounds like they're having a party. <laughs> I'm just wrapping the paper around the card and then uh, I'm marking it very faintly. Taking it apart and then what I'll do is I'll cut it up that line and uh, glue it to um, strips of card uh, using PVA wood glue so it may take a while to go off but while that's going off um, some of the things we can be doing so I might have to leave the desks for a while while this glue goes off and maybe start on the benches and then we'll come back to these once the PVA wood glue is set. I have made one bench already. Um, just as a, a trial and error, because I'm trying to remember how I made them from when I made them last time. So, this is how it was done. Um, I took the measurements from the drawing. So you got 6mm, then 5mm, then 7.5mm. Now it's all a question of folds. So basically, I use a square for this, just making sure the card is flush up against the square. And where the first mark is, just bend it round. And then put that on the underside, and then bend it back again. Now you have the first two folds of your bench. Now I've still got mark there. That's 7.5 mil, so that's got to come back on itself, and hopefully it'll finish up at a height of 15.5 mil. Now it don't look much at the moment because we've got a, a shape in it and uh, tinker with it a little bit. So what we do now is we get either a 4mm drill bit or something that's 4mm round and just where I've got the 5mm space just round that over there a little bit because then it's just creating the Pump in the seat if you like, and then fold it back. And it gives it that look of a cushion, cushioned seat. If you look at it edgeways on, you can see what I mean. So now we've got to do the same with the lower half just rounding it slightly on the edge push it back into shape and then we've got that now so it's starting to look like a seat from the side so the next thing I want to do is glue that in there put a little bit of glue in there glue that up squeeze that nice and Tight, because that forms the back of the seat. Then we take a measurement from the top of the seat, just to mark 15.5 mil, and then once that's dried a little bit, we can cut that piece off, and then we should end up with something like that when it's done. Now this is not finished yet because what I want to do once the glue is hardened fully is cut a very thin strip bit of card, come down and then follow that leg. So once the seat has dried, uh, still flexible, so once the seat is dried a little bit of PVA wood glue underneath there and then what we'll do we'll put a little bit of strengthening card in there just so we can keep the shape 
a little bit of PV book thing in there. Piece of card, five mil wide, and then just drop that in there. That'll help keep the shape of the seat once that goes off. Just press that one. Right, and then leave that to dry. Right, so what I've done here is I've added some armrests to the seat using some 1.5 milli card. So I've cut a strip, 1.5 milli card, 5 mil, 5 mil, and then 7 mil. I don't know if you can see the lines there. And it's just a case of folding them on that lines one one way and then one the other compress them until you've got something like that what you do then is you glue that onto your seat but keep the seven mil um, for the leg then five mil for the rest then five mil up on the back rest so we'll just put a little bit of glue on there Seven mil goes down the front. Just give that a little press, and just make sure you leave a gap of about two to th two mil, and then press it onto the back rest of the seat so that it's flush to the top. So if you keep that piece flush to the top, you'll end up with the gap there. And that's what you're after. Right, so now that the card is cured and we can now cut these into 10 mil modules, 10 by 6 across there. Um, to cut these is quite uh, tough, so basically if you score all the way around and then just do a little cut at a time, eventually you will cut through and you'll get a nice square cut on this card. And um, this is what one of these desks looks like once it's uh, done. A little bit of card in between the drawers, and that's it. That's ready for painting. Um, just scribe it with a pen to look like you have drawers. For those of you who are wondering what a single drawer desk would look like, well, here it is. Um, quite simple. Um, just added a piece of card there, the same width as the drawers, and then I've just folded it to meet up with the chest along the back. That's it, so that's the desks completed. Right, the next thing I want to start on is the booths for these three tables here. Um, I have made these before, I think uh, South Shields Refreshment Room has them. And basically what I've done is I've made a cardboard template up here. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. Um, it's 17mm high, 8mm wide at its widest point. And um, basically I've just made the shape that will fit the seats. Uh, something similar to how I've done the benches there. Um, so that's the sides that will be glued onto the seat. And uh, yeah, so I made a template. So we have uh, eight sides there for four seats. And I'm going to make a couple of doubles um, up, which will have a seat either side. Um, as you can see there I have cut a piece of card 19mm wide added the centre line and marked the pattern round either side of the centre line make these booths different from how I made those uh, seats by using pieces of card rather than folding the card 
Um, so let's have a go. Um, we've got 5mm which is for the seat, 5mm wide by 19. Um, we've got 3mm by 19 wide and what I'll do is I'll just glue that onto this piece of card keeping it flush and then I'll stick the seat on the top and we'll see how that works out but before I do any of that I want to make sure that the rounded edges that you get when you cut the card stays at the top uh, rather than have a square edge on the top otherwise it won't look uh, like a comfy seat so before we do that I'm just going to mark a line across the top in four spaces so it looks like the leather has been stitched when it's painted so that's what I'm doing here I'll do this with all of them so I'll run a little bit of glue along the bottom for the three mil so let's just stick the three mil on making it sure it's flush with the base what I'll do at this point before we go any further I'll just put a little bend in the top half there still flush and we'll glue the seat on. You see by doing that I've got a little ledge there for the seat to glue on to. There you go, so that makes that seat now exactly five millimeters high. And we'll just glue the sides on. Make sure the side is flush with the base and it don't matter if we've got a little bit of a lip on the back I'll just let that glue take and we'll wipe off the excess see how that's coming along and then we'll just do the same with this side and making sure it's flush with the bottom And there we go, we have our booth. I'm just pressing those two sides together. See if it'll sit by itself. Yep. Right, so that's one down. And this is what a double seated booth looks like. It's not that much different to a single. Um, the way that I've put it together. Um, but what I will be doing to finish it off is adding one mil strip of card across the top on both sides. With the single ones, you could probably get away with using them as church pews. Um, now this one already has the one mil card across the top. And the church pews obviously would have strips down the back with a crisscross. And you would paint that in a wooden colour, I think. There you go. That's the booze almost finished. And the last thing to do is to make up these little office chairs. Uh, I've made them more or less the same way as I did with the benches. Um, two folds and then a fold on the top there which comes back on itself. Um, the overall chair works out to be 13 millimeters high from the base of the foot to the top of the back of the chair. Right, as you can see I've made a 
good start on painting uh, this furniture. I've just given the counter here its second coat of brilliant white. I normally would um, coat these in a brown wooden effect, but uh, this one I'm just changing the decor slightly. These uh, squares along the front there, I'll probably paint them red. There you go, so we shall leave that to dry. Um, other things I've been doing um, with things like this piece of furniture here I've been blacking out the handles with a sharpie pen um, I haven't done the desks yet all I'm doing is where I've pressed home I'm just dipping the sharpie in giving it a little twist and it just leaves a little mark in there just looks like they've got drawers have got handles on them. And that's uh, one of the desks. Notice it's got a lovely leather inlay on its top. So that's the station master's desk, that one. Well, that took a while. Uh, now that the painting's done, this lot can then go now go into the rooms um, but uh, that will be for another video for another time but one final detail for this furniture is these ticket stamping machines all it is is a bit of round flashing plastic left over from a kit all I've done is stuck a couple of bits of 0.5 card on and that will give me two um, ticket machines so if I cut that off there where I've marked it and I cut that off there then I can stick them onto uh, this piece of furniture that's going to go underneath the windows in the ticket office so I'll do that and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished It's hard to believe a few days ago that all this was card and paper and now it's all been turned into furniture ready to go into the new station building. Well it's been a productive week, a quite a busy week and, uh, and I think oh, that is all we've got time for. Join me next week when hopefully will start putting all this lot into the rooms and closing off the walls permanently yeah so that will be interesting stuff I think ah just before we go let's have a look at the ticket machines in the book at office and there they are first items to go into the station building. Thanks for watching now. Till next time, stay safe everybody and most of all, enjoy your model railways. Bye for now. Bye.